My name is uh, Odmund Hestvik, Norwegian name. I started uh, to harvest uh, with these machines in 1973 when we built the first machine. More, more or less in 50 years, yes. Yeah, it's a fine life, a free life. You are not uh, you're going by the clock. <laughs> you, you are uh, going by the moon, by the tide. It's, it's uh, high tide twice uh, uh, a day or every 24 hours. It's, it's very, very good to wake up out in the, in the islands. No one around you. You're just on your own and uh, everything is calm and peaceful. That's a good life. I have always said that uh, we are just in the beginning. I'm very satisfied with my life. This is the place where we are harvesting the plant that is one of the main ingredients of a lot of our biostimulants portfolio. And it's the fact that it's growing in these conditions, we've seen it, nature is really harsh in here. Yesterday we had the longest day of the year, 24 hours full of light. You can imagine how it is during the darkness. So this plant has had to evolve to adapt to these very harsh conditions. And by using some of the characteristics of the plant, that helped it evolve in these conditions, we can also help plants on land. Innovation is something that excites me overall, but in the, sp in the space of biologicals, we believe that there is still a lot of innovation to come. My dream would be that farmers and agriculture in general follows more the path of regenerative agriculture. So using elements from all the worlds, all the best elements in order to be able to regenerate the soils and make an impact on nature, but at the same time, keeping and improving farm profitability as well. This is my dream. I'm holding the hero of our story, the Ascophyllum nodosum. This is the algae that we've been talking about for the last day. This is the magical ingredient in our biostimulants, in some of our biostimulants, that is actually transforming agriculture on land. Maybe it looks like a caper <laughs> of sorts, the caper of the sea. But it's really incredible how the pioneering minds have managed to really grasp the connection between this and plants on land.